Hi, my name is Peter. I am the CEO of Pulsar Technologies. This is the first video of our YouTube channel. In this series, we'll talk about the active desktop app features and its wallpapers. Also, every time a new wallpaper will be deployed to our cloud platform, a new video will be uploaded here containing the tutorial of the freshly released wallpaper. Today, we're going to talk about the features of the active desktop software, how to install it, use it, I'm going to explain how it's working, how to install a wallpaper, use it, customize it, and later I'll make a brief presentation of the currently released wallpapers. Let's get started. So right now I'm going to show you how to set up and install the Active Desktop software. Please note that Active Desktop requires Windows 8.1, so if you have Windows 7 or earlier versions, you cannot use the app. But if you have Windows 8.0, you can freely upgrade to 8.1, it's easy, no data loss, and you will be able to use our software, plus a lot of great features of the Windows OS itself. Active Desktop is designed to be flexible. It has a very easy way to set up. There are only three steps to set up. Download, install, and run. It's that easy. For the first step, go to pulsartechnologies.com slash active desktop, click downloads, and then click the download button. Next, we have to install the app. Just click on the installer and follow the setup instructions. If you want a default install, just click next several times. Now. Windows is requesting some privileges to install. If Pulsar Technologies appears as a publisher, it means we authorized this installer, it's safe to install. If not, please report to our website and do not install. As you can see, multiple shortcuts have been created on desktop and on the start menu. For example, if we search for active, we will see the app right here. We reached the final step of the setup, running the program for the first time. So, if I double-click the active desktop icon, it launches in a Windows Metro fashion. As you can see, the app makes a small setup before launching. I'll explain later what it does. In the meantime, you can see that our desktop background has changed. This is basically the default wallpaper. Now, you're done. The setup is complete. Next, we're going to talk about the components of the program. The program is split in two main components, the wallpaper manager and the background process. The wallpaper manager is the graphic interface of this program. This component lets you manage, control and customize all of the installed wallpapers. Moreover, it has a small browser that connects to our cloud platform and lets you update, install wallpapers and explore the active desktop world. The background process acts like a server. It takes commands from the manager and passes to the currently running wallpaper. The current wallpaper receives the command and executes it. Whenever you want to see if this background process is running, launch task manager and look for active underscore desktop. If it's not running, please launch the program normally. It will handle the problem automatically at the load time. Getting back to the wallpaper manager, I'm going to present some of its features and I'll describe its components. The manager is split in two panels, Explorer and Preview. On the left, we have the Explorer panel, which has a blue background. Right now, the Explorer is showing all locally installed wallpapers. Right now we have only one, the default wallpaper. On the right, we have the Wallpaper Preview panel. If we select the currently running wallpaper, a live preview square is mirroring our background. As you can see, the color of the word active is changing slowly on the background in tandem with the live preview. Below this live screen, we have another two sections, description and details. 
Here you can find some useful information about the selected wallpaper like CPU load, battery consumption, memory and other. The clear wallpaper button resets the background to this default wallpaper. If I click it now, nothing will happen because we're already running the default wallpaper. The refresh button from the left of the more wallpapers has a very special purpose. If by accident the program doesn't render the current wallpaper anymore, the background process has lost the connection with your background, this button should rebind the process to your background. Suppose the explorer process fails, let's simulate this by closing the explorer and restart it. We see that the background freezes. The color of the word active remains the same while in preview panel continues rendering. If we click the refresh button, the problem is solved. Now I'm going to explain how to install a new wallpaper. To do that, click on the more wallpapers button and wait to finish loading. You can see that the explorer panel expands to the whole size of the window and switches to web wallpapers. Right now we have all available wallpapers from the cloud. If we click any of them, let's say inspiration, we will see some pictures in the preview panel. This is the selected wallpapers gallery. Below we have the price of this wallpaper, if it's free it's ready to download in just one click and then the two previously described panels. Let's download and install our first wallpaper. Click the download button, wait a few seconds and then click install. It's done, we have a new wallpaper installed locally. Let's see what it can do for us. Click the wallpaper, then use wallpaper. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? Let's get back to the App Manager. Click on the current wallpaper. We see that the preview panel is live connected to the screen. Below we have another panel, the settings panel. This is different from one wallpaper to another. Also, it is a dynamic panel, meaning that if we change some options, more settings will appear or disappear. Let's try to change the collection. As you can see, the wallpaper responds to our command and changes accordingly. If we click the clear wallpaper button, the program resets to its default state. This was the first tutorial of the Active Desktop app. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, we'll come back later with more and more cool wallpapers. That was the screencast, I hope you enjoyed it. And now, as I promised, I will make a brief presentation about each wallpaper released so far. Let's start with the last installed wallpaper, Inspiration. For this one, you can choose from a variety of collections of images, which are architecture, cars, planes, fruits, and love. In addition to this, we have the weather widget. We have the following settings for this weather widget. Show weather, yes or no. If we choose no, we, we will have no weather. Units. Depending on your preferences, you will have to choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. 
weather refresh interval. This can be set to 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 or 3 hours. And the location, if you set to manual, you will be able to choose your own city and be more specific with the location. Let's say we live in London or Palo Alto or whatever Amsterdam so as you can see the temperature is changing depending on the location next I'm gonna talk about our first wallpaper released ever Pulsar Technologies. Let's install it first. We go to the cloud. We download. And install. OK. Let's use this wallpaper. You can change from this wallpaper the theme colors of the background. Let's say we choose blue white. You can see that the whole background screen changes to blue and the text changes to white. Now I'm going to talk about the Philips Hue family dedicated wallpapers. Philips Lux and Living Colors Bloom. With these wallpapers you will be able to control the smart light bulbs and will let you connect them to your background. You can change the brightness and the color for each of them from these wallpapers. But if you change the light state from the outside, let's say from the genuine Philips app from smartphone, these wallpapers will respond quickly and they'll update your background with a beautiful transition. Ok, this was the first video of our channel. Thank you for watching again and don't forget to subscribe. Next time we'll discuss about each wallpaper in detail. Bye bye!